Oh my god. He's right here. He's right here. Get him. Oh, Get I'm him. right here. Oh, you guys are here. Oh. Yes, that is a Bracken in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. In my last video, I talked about how I made Lethal Company in Minecraft. But I kind of just skimmed through the mobs. So in this video, I'll give you a bit more insight as to how I coded them into the game. But anyway guys, thank you for the amazing support on the last video. And I'm going to be trying to upload bi-weekly now. So please subscribe so that you won't miss any new uploads. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the mobs, I first need to explain the spawning mechanics. Lethal Company's anti-spawning is pretty complicated, but I still try to follow it as close as I could. Based on the Lethal Company wiki, the game actually uses this Unity animation curve thing for all entity spawns on each moon, and another spawn chance multiply curve for individual entities. So basically, as the day progresses, things are more likely to spawn. But since I'm coding this in JavaScript with no easy way of visualizing the graphs and stuff, I'm gonna simplify it. We need to somehow make this curve thing in JavaScript. So I opened up Desmos and mostly replicated the curves with math. This red graph here is the indoor spawn curve and the blue one is the outdoor. The x-axis is the current time in the game and the y-axis is just a spawn chance from 0 to 1. Yes, I had to dig into the depths of my forgotten math knowledge to make Minecraft mods. Stay in school, kids! But to quickly explain, the script generates a minimum and maximum entity count based on these factors. To get the final entity spawn chance, we multiply each individual entity's percentage with the value we get from the graph. Then, based on the spawn count we got earlier, the script will pick the appropriate number of entities and spawn them in random vents. Now that we have the entity spawning done, it's time to make the- But wait! Before I get into the actual coding of the mobs, you first need to know how mobs work on Bedrock Edition. Basically, Mojang gives us access to a ton of components which kind of act like behaviors which we can use to build our own mobs. There are two sides to build add-ons, the client and the server. The server will know where all these mobs are and what they're doing and it sends this info to the client so that everyone playing the game can see it. Now lethal company mobs have different states, like the hoarding bug has these for example. To make this, I use this actor property thing which kind of acts like markers to make this variable that marks out the mob's current state. Then of course, since I needed the client to know what state the mob is in in order to play the correct animations, I enable client sync. So hoarding bugs in the actual game roam around until they find some scrap, which they will then bring back to the nest and guard. But Mojang unfortunately didn't add the find scrap and return to nest component. Please edit Mojang. So I'm gonna have to somehow make this behavior myself. So I use this random stroll component to just make it wander around randomly, and this nearest attackable target component to make it target scraps. But how are we going to make him pick up the scrap? There is no pick scrap up component. Well, with the script API, I can detect when an entity hits something. So when the hoarding bug tries to attack the scrap, I add a tag to the scrap so the hoarding bug stops targeting it, then force the scrap to write on the hoarding bug. Now we switch the bug state to returning where it has the go home component and it goes back to its nest. The card head was a little tricky to make. In theory, it should be quite simple. You might think we could just use the Enderman's look at component, but it's kind of funky because bitter condition. And it also only works when you look at the eyes. Ideally, we would want it to work when the card head is in your screen instead of when you look directly at it. Lucky for us, in the script API, we have this get entities from Ray thing. Self-explanatory. From this, we could just make a view cone of rays in front of wherever the player is looking, and if there's a core hit in there, we give them the slowness effect for two ticks. This way, when you stop looking at it, the slowness effect will quickly run up and he can move again. So with the help of Bendy, I was able to make this view cone mechanic, and the core hit is done. <laughs> Bracken is actually incredibly hard to make in Minecraft. I just have no feasible way of making custom pathfinding for it to sneak behind you, and Mojang hasn't added a sneak behind target like the Bracken component, so I'll have to simplify it. So in the game, the Bracken knows where every player is at all times. So I gave it the nearest attackable target component with an insane follow range, so it will just slowly make its way towards the nearest player from wherever it spawns. I found this ocelot attack component that kind of has a sneak function, so I just used it even though it kind of just works like a normal player sneaking. The Bracken also has this nice little kill animation, which many of the more advanced creators here on Baroque Edition have always been using the same method to make. 
With the rideable component, we can force players to ride the mob that's attacking them, which lines them up perfectly for the attack animation to sync. After the attack, the Bracken also uses the ride function to pick up the body, and I also added this avoid mob component for it to run away from players. Even though by right this Bracken isn't actually coded to sneak up on you, it still does a pretty good job at doing it. It's actually working. Oh my god. So that's how I coded these three lethal company mobs into the game. I hope I wasn't too boring and that now you understand a little bit more about how Bjork add-ons work. Dingo has been cooking up some particles and UI and Sign Vector has added a lot more functionality to the Voicecraft program. So I will continue working on the map and hopefully release a beta version somewhat soon. Let me know what other kinds of videos you want to see and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.